era of commuting in metro. An era where you just cannot enter the station freely and board a metro. Although many metro rails have resumed services across the nation, Kolkata is still gearing up. But commuting in Kolkata metro won't be that easy like Delhi, Bengaluru or Chennai. Here is all you need to know about the metro. The first and foremost thing to do for travelling in Kolkata metro is to book your slot. Thanks to the West Bengal government, you just cannot enter the station whenever you want. You need to book an e-pass which will generate a colour-coded QR code. While entering the metro station, you need to show your QR code to the police. Only limited number of people will be able to book a time slot to ride the metro. This slot will be valid for 2 hours. If the metro is estimated to be too crowded, you won't be allowed to book your slot. This has been done to control the crowd that Kolkata Metro often faces. The passenger count will be limited to just 400 per train. You can book your slot 24 hours prior to your journey using the Pothodisha app. Kolkata Metro is all set to resume services this 13th September, but you will be able to ride from 14th onwards. Trains will operate at a frequency of 10 to 15 minutes between 8 am and 8 pm. But before that, Metro Rail Block today got a chance to visit one of the busiest metro stations of Kolkata, that is Kalighat. We got an overview of what it's actually going to be like to ride a metro. So after you book your slot, you need to visit your station that you want. Every metro station will have one entrance and one exit gate only. You will find the police at the entrance. Show him the e-pass you have and enter the metro station. Oh, by the way, thermal checking will be mandatory. So once you reach the concourse level, you will find a contactless hand sanitizer. Another thing that has been added recently is an automatic ticket vending machine. That's a surprise. Automatic ticket vending machines have been allotted to every metro station of North South Line. You can buy a new token as well as recharge your smart card or even buy a new smart card if you don't have one. So once metro rail opens, no tokens will be given, only smart card holders will be able to avail the metro. If you don't have a smart card, then you can buy a new one from the counter or even from the ticket vending machine. Social distancing will be a big factor. As you know, every longitudinal seat of metro can hold 7 passengers at a time. Now this time, the count has been reduced to just 4 passengers. Seats that are available on the platform has been also altered. Another thing quite important is the alignment of the doors. The North-South metro doesn't have platform screen doors as we know, but various markings has been given to the platform to mark the alignment of the train doors. Just stand near these markings and the train doors will open just in front of you. As a gearing up activity, Metro Railway ran empty trains at a frequency of 15 minutes all throughout the day. That's all for today, no need to fear. Prashashan thik moto shamlate parle, Metro will be as safe as other public transports in the city. Metro Railway has already commissioned the 7th Medha rake as well and the last yellow pale non-AC rake has been condemned. So only 6 non-AC rakes are left. So gear up for your new normal in the metro. To keep yourself up to date with the various metro rail projects in the country, please subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.